What is up guys, Kelly Kevin today we're going to be making a diamond spade with pixel art. Um, if you didn't look at the last video, this is what we did last video. It was the diamond sword. Obviously if you haven't seen it, click on the channel and scroll through and you will find it. It is in the Minecraft playlist if you cannot find it. But we're going to crack on with this. Bear in mind guys, there are loads of uh, Minecraft pixel arts. But the most popular ones are linked in the description below. But if you want to look at any of the other ones, make sure you check out the playlist on my channel. So let's get started on this. Um, last, last time we actually elevated the sword slightly higher. So we're going to be doing it with the uh, spades. And uh, Sorry about the slimes, I have no idea why they're there, but uh, we're going to crack into it. So the white block is basically just to elevate it first. Um, as you can see, this diamond sword is slightly different to everyone else's. I really do like textures on my sort of um, pixel arts. I don't like to do all the same. Usually for the blade, someone would have probably would have done um, just all diamond and probably the sides bits. Maybe a little bit of shading with diamond. Um, but I thought, you know, mix it up a little bit, give that little bit of texture, something nice, something new, something different. Um, so we're just going to crack on with this. So basically we're going to do a light variation here. So we're just going to have this soft starter block. Um, and then you want a couple of dark here. Uh, now personally I'm just going to mix it up here. So you just want an L. Have whatever you want here guys. Ever, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but make sure you keep, uh, you know, your lights and your darks in mind here. Because we are going to be doing lights and darks variations. So we are going to start off on the... Um, handle itself. Um, I was going to use a couple of blacks here but I thought there's no point in this yet. Maybe for the tip of the actual you know, shovel itself but for the handle mainly it's just going to be browns. Um, so we're going to crack into this. So there we go, there's the L bit there. And then for our lights, maybe going to start build up another one here. Um, so you want a four block of any what you want. One peeking off to the left. That doesn't really matter. Dark one there. As, you, as I say, guys, on the diamond one as well, you can do any variation that you want. Um, you can have whatever colours you want. This is entirely your build. Uh, make it something different. You know, if 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 you don't if you don't want a wooden handle, maybe go for like a steel handle or something. You know, just just mix it up. Try those colours and see how it goes. So you want a four with attached with an L on the left, which is basically the starting of the bottom of the handle. And apart from that, it will go skinnier all the way up to the peak of the top. Now, the blocks that you need to go up are an extra six in total. Now, I personally would go for the slightly lighter color on here, the light color running through the middle and the darker color running through the bottom. And that's that's me, I like my shading, so for this one we're gonna be using the clay. So, as so, it's gonna look pretty much like this. Um, you got the two along there, and then one along here. So we're just going to crack on with that. So the stairs are just going to build right like this. So you want, uh, I think it's extra. How many is it? That's one, two, three. We've got there. One, two, three. It's another four up. So another one, two, three, four. And that is the end of the shovel. So uh, yeah, you want to connect this one off uh, up here, I think. You want another brown. We're gonna make actually make the the base of the you know the shovel slightly larger in this one. It's not to you know to scale or anything in particular, but um, you know we we're, I'm gonna make it slightly larger. Actually, I'm gonna take this one out and make it slightly slightly smaller. Maybe not. No, I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it like that, guys. We're gonna have three or three by three. 3x3 three three there with one in the middle. Again, shading is entirely up to you. So we want the darker block here running through the middle like so. Uh, -da -da -da. I'm going to keep going all the way up till it connects. It should automatically connect. If you get the first line correct, it should just be fine. It should just hook all the way up like so. This is our handle right now. And then you want to run through the light color through the middle. So just fill in the gaps with this. And I believe in total it is two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven stared, and then two along for the handle. So a three by three block, and then you want to build seven up, build seven up along there, and then just fill in the gaps whatever you want. Now we're going to start on with the actual handle itself. Now for me, I'm going to minus this block and do the outer with the black because it just looks nice and crisp. Um, so we're going to just go along here. This is our handle. Again, you want that sort of a mini mouse sort of face there. Just to connect, this is going to be a thing. Apologies, I do need to change the time again. Sorry about this. Um, so yeah, we're just going to do that in the Mickey Mouse. Then build up another one along here. 
possibly so three three up from the Mickey Mouse and the three up from this one so it looks something like that you got the one two three Mickey Mouse the one connecting there and then the three up now I said in the previous one if you do get lost on this uh, I'll let you use the white walls just to put them in but then to minus them out it makes it a lot more easier instead of uh, sort of doing something like this it's easier just to explain if you just put a white wall here and then just attach a black wall here and then you just cut the black uh, the white wall out sorry so that's uh, it's pretty good so uh, we're actually probably gonna try it this side uh, you've got the black wall so you want to build off this so you want to go back out to it so you go if you think about it it's technically the Mickey Mouse then one two including the brown wall three all the way up and then you want to build back out onto it like this so one two three like so there we go and there's sort of the connecting one there you want to fill it in um, it doesn't really matter how you fill it in you can do it all diamond but for me you know, I'm gonna chop it about I'm gonna put one here one here uh, two there uh, two there one there one there I'm gonna do it like that and then I'm just gonna do a variation of colors here maybe um, a couple up here one there and the rest maybe just fill in like this so there we go there is the diamond shovel not a uh, not not amazing purely because just the colors the colors are slightly different I'm actually gonna take this one out maybe something like that that's a little bit better but yeah I thought you know try and mix it up a little bit I might actually change this one just for the slightly darker version Let's see how that looks I mean as you say guys you can you know chop and change whatever you want but uh, oh, that looks a lot better. There we go. So yeah, there is the uh, Minecraft shovel. You can have any way you want. I'm just going to do it demonstrationally wise, just for uh, just so you can see, you know, because a lot of people just fill it in with diamond, which you know is all right, but you know, it's kind of boring. I mean, look at that. It's got no sort of like oomph to it. But yeah, that is pretty much the diamond shovel guys so if you did enjoy this you can have this on many definitions you can you know slip it up and that down maybe make an entrance maybe even make a door like flip upside down so you could like essentially you know if you can imagine the door sort of being this way maybe sort of a door here you know and you could walk in sort of this way and if you tilt your head to the left maybe you could probably walk in there like oh hello and you know switch it upside down but yeah basically you could do it like that so um yeah guys, I've still got the pickaxe, the hatchet and the hoe and the diamond. As I say, we might do the Steve head and the creeper head. Um, but yeah, we also did the diamond sword. If you haven't looked at that, go back onto the channel and scroll through and find it. You will find it or link in the description. Thanks ever so much for watching guys. This has been Killer Kev and Killer Kev out. Oh,